Today I'm going to uh, go over our new field installable OptiTap connector using our OptiSnap technology. So first off, we're going to start with going over the kit. This kit here is what we would call our comprehensive kit. This kit includes the OptiSnap installation tool, our OptiSnap cleaver, and the actual prepping tools. So now let's go ahead and get everything out that is needed to do a field installable OptiTap. First we have our bench tool, which you can see here has markings for our cable prep and actually has a stud here to attach the installation tool on. The next piece is our OptiSnap installation tool. I'm gonna go ahead and install it onto the bench top tool. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the unit. The next piece is our actual OptiSnap cleaver. Then we have a jacket removal tool to help remove the sheath from the Rock 900 uh, cable. Crimp tool. Some side cutters. Two Sharpies. Some Miller strippers. Some fiber prepping uh, and cleaning materials. and then the handler for the cleaver, for the Rock 900. So first, we're gonna go ahead and get our actual field installable OptiTap connector. Inside the bag comes one hardened connector, an upper and a lower, a 250 micron OptiSnap, and a crimp band. There's your hardened connector. Your lower inner piece. Your upper inner piece. 250 micron OptiSnap connector and your crimp band. <clears throat> First, you uh, go ahead and prep this out like you would any other OptiSnap installation by getting your connector into your tool. That part is complete. Now we're going to take our lower half of the field installable OptiTap and put it into the bench top tool. The next part we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start prepping out our cable. So I've got a pre-cut piece of Rock 900 drop, fast access. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, remove the uh, dust cap from our field installable OptiTap, install this onto the cable, just like you would any other boot for a connector. Put your crimp band on, slide it down, and that part is complete. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come in and we're going to start to measure our cable for cable prepping. First you're going to mark at 90 and 75. These are your stripping marks for the cable. <clears throat> so now I'm going to take the side cutters and this being fast access, it's all I got to do is start the end of the cable and then it's all I have to do is separate the cable and start to peel it apart. Now, the reason we marked at 75 and 90 is to give you a frame of reference of where to stop separating the jacket of the cable. So what you wanna do is go past 75, but not past 90. Then you want to get your fiber, get your 900 micron fiber out, get it out of the way, and then go and get your side cutters and cut at 75. What this does is get your fiber prepped out and this is the part you're going to use to install the connector. The next piece 
we're going to go ahead and get ready for this 90 piece or this 90 mark. We're going to use a sheath removal tool um, that we had manufactured by Ripley to help you uh, get this outer jacket off of your GRPs and your 900 micron. You will see there is a stud here at the end and there's an arrow here. So your cable wants to come in here and at the end of the stud is where you want it to stop. And then you actually squeeze, pull. And then you can actually remove the other piece of jacket leaving your 900 micron fiber and your two GRPs for strain relief. <clears throat> Next, we're gonna get into fiber prep. So the other markings here on the tool is 0, 45, and 50. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go in and mark 45 and 50. Then we're gonna take our Miller strippers and I'm gonna put on some safety glasses here. We're gonna take our Miller strippers and start the fiber prepping. So I like to take it off in shorter chunks because this 900 micron does go through uh, some extra heating when they extrude the jacket on this cable. So you want to go down, removing two, uh, the 900 micron all the way down to the 45 mark, and then you want to come and remove the 250 at the 45 mark. Then you go back to the 50 mark and just remove the 900. With using the 250 micron OptiSnap connector, you're getting three points of strain relief here. One on the 125, one on the 250, and one on the 900. Now that we have our fiber stripped and prepared, now I'm gonna get the actual handler for the cleaver. We're gonna load it into the handler. like so. And then we're gonna get our cleaver out and we're gonna cleave. With holding both buttons, insert the fiber, recycle one button, cleave, remove. Now I can go ahead with my cleave fiber and remove it from the handler and start the uh, connectorization process for the field installable. So you'll see I just brought my crimp band down toward the tool because there, uh, there is a crimp band uh, installer on this bench top tool and this little lever here that holds the cable in place while going through the OptiSnap installation. So now we're just gonna go with a, a standard OptiSnap installation. Once you get it in, you go ahead and cam. You'll get your green or your red light. If it's green, go ahead and crimp. If it's red, go ahead and release and redo. So this time we got green, so I crimp. Remove up the VFL, unload my connector. Now I'm gonna pull that back into place. And now I am done with the OptiSnap tool. Now, on top of this uh, bench top tool, you'll see two white marks. These two white marks are gonna be critical in getting this connector into the lower half. So on the connector, you're gonna see that each side there's a slot. Now, on the lower half of this connector, there are teeth that are gonna fit there into those slots. So you get the back part of your connector lined up with these white lines, push down, and it will fall into the actual lower half. Next, we're gonna take the upper half, install it onto the connector, push up the crimp band. At this point, we're gonna remove it from the bench top tool, get our crimper, and now we're gonna crimp to add extra strain relief on, for the connector. Once you get this crimped, now you're going to pull up your OptiSnap hearted connector body and you're gonna pop it in place. Now, that is not the end. 
you will see there is some tamper tape here that tells you the final step of doing this connector is tighten down the uh, boot. So you want to tighten it down as far as it'll turn. And then you can screw your cap back on. And that concludes the installation of a field installable OptiTap connector on a Rock 900 cable.